my name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today I wanna to talk to you about the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. As many of you may know, Good Girl's Guide to Murder was one of my favorite books from last year. It was so fun and so different. And it's the perfect book for people who are fans of, you know, true crime podcasts or who are looking for a contemporary thriller um, that is also YA. And it just was a lot of enjoyment, like pure enjoyment reading this book. I was not expecting it to be as shocking and gasping and twisty and turny as, as it was. And so I actually don't have my copy to show you because my mom is borrowing it right now. I started and finished the new one, Good Girl, Bad Blood, which just came out in the United States uh, in March, but has been released in the UK uh, since last year. The timing is a little bit off. So I was waiting for my United States copy so that my covers matched because that's important to me. I really, really liked how this book kind of picked up exactly where we left off. There was no time lapse and I love, especially when it's been so long since I read a book, when the second one kind of gives you a recap as you read of what happened in the story because sometimes I just don't remember. And even if I remember I really, really loved it, I'm not gonna remember the intricate details of what happened, especially if it pertains to the next story. And that was the case in this book. So characters were the same, people were the same, something new happened, which was exciting and a new thing to investigate, but I had to remind myself what was going on in the last book. And so I thought Holly did a really great job of kind of keeping that story alive while still turning into a new story. Pip and Ravi are back, and of course, we're gonna be investigating something new in this one. And this time, it's the disappearance of a friend's brother. It's not the murder that uh, of Andy Bell that she set out to investigate in the first book. It's more of a, this is currently happening. And I liked it because I thought it was new. It was something that was different. It wasn't just the same murder mystery investigation from book one. So I really, really enjoyed and appreciated that part. I didn't think that this one was as shocking and uh, revealing and gaspy as the first book, but I flew through it. It was entertaining as hell. It got me kind of out of a reading slump a little bit and it just was so easy to read and follow and just enjoyable overall. While I didn't think this one was super, super intense compared to the last one, I still really enjoyed it. And I know there's gonna be another one because in the back of this book, she you know, announced that there was gonna be a third one coming, which I can't wait for. Uh, I wanna see what happens next because this one started to get a little dark and you wanna see what happens to Pip really like the character development in the books because I think you can see change and I want to know what happens because now I'm emotionally invested in the characters. So this is one that I definitely recommend picking up if you like contemporary, if you like true crime, if you like thrillers, if you like YA, pick up this series. It's so fun to read and just will you'll fly right through it. One piece of constructive criticism, if there's something that I say that I didn't love about it, was that it seemed a little far-fetched compared to the twisty ways of the old one. But that's almost the charm that the book has because a 17-year-old is not gonna be investigating something instead of the police, right? So it's kind of why it's a book and it's fantasy, it's not supposed to be real. It's not gonna happen in real life. Like this is not true, but that's what makes it fun to read and watch and, and experience in your head is that it is so kind of out there and the twists that do come are not believable, but because they're not believable, that's what makes it exciting. So I don't know, I really liked it. I wanna see what happens in book three. Um, Check out Good Girl's Guide to Murder and watch my video uh, review on that if you need some more convincing. But if you've already read that, definitely pick up Good Girl Bad Blood. Thanks for hanging out today. Don't forget to click like and subscribe below and click on the bell to be notified when I post videos in the future. If you wanna chat on Instagram, you can find me at The Fun Size Reader, on Facebook at The Fun Size Reader, and on Twitter at Fun Size Reader. 
See you next time.